Hi everybody. Today we're going to do a quick video and the technique I want to highlight is this little water in this card. So I got these cute stamps from My Favorite Things and this new porthole die and I thought wouldn't it be neat to make it look like this little mermaid is maybe in a sunken ship or something. So that's what we're going to do today. Oops. All right. So I'll show you guys here. All right. So we're going to cheat. Um, I already have my card base made. And then I have a plain piece of card stock. Now for this one, when I made the boat part or the ship part, all I did was I stamped the background using Stampin' Up's hardwood stamp. Stamped that down with some crumb cake ink and then used distress ink in vintage photo to color it in okay and then from there I got the new uh, my favorite things dynamics and this is called the ocean view porthole and I cut that out of some silver cardstock and that is from the die cuts with a view foiled cardstock in silver and this kind of has a matte finish it's not real super glossy shiny so that's why I picked that paper and then the fun part is going to be making this water like insert and it's just fun to play with and you could put some sequins and stuff if they're in there if you wanted to but I'll show you that part so put this up here what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out by coloring our little mermaid in and um, I'm really not going to take too much time on that, guys, because I don't want to bore you with that. Now, I cheated on this one. I got some new Stampin' Up! paper called Wood Textures Designer Series Paper. And I took a piece of that and cut the porthole, put that over there. Now, when I glued the porthole down, I didn't use the same porthole die. I took a die that was a little bit... Um, in between the circle die and the reason I did that is because if I cut it the same size then I'd have to line up the center so by having this circle see how it fits in the middle there it it just glues easier and I don't have to worry about any paper showing so I did that and then this measures um, five and a half to four and a quarter because I wanted to cover the whole card front so we just need our little mermaid to show through there so I'm going to take a regular piece of cardstock and I'm going to take a white gel pen so that it doesn't really show. And I'm just going to circle or draw an outline, trace an outline of where my little mermaid should be. So you can't see, but I can see there is a circle there. Yeah, it's not going to show up where my little mermaid needs to be. And this is the stamp set, the My Favorite Things Mermazing. Yeah, Mermazing stamp set. It's so cute. It's so hot right now. Everybody wants this set. And I finally gave in. Of course, being a mother to a four-year-old, she kind of makes it a little easier. And I'm going to stamp this in Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And I'm really just worrying about stamping her top half. And then I can see the circle here where I want to line it up. And again, I'm not a Copic coloring expert, so... I'm just going to make this quick and easy. Not worried about too much with the shadows and the highlights. Now, if you want to take your time, by all means, go right ahead. And it doesn't have to be too perfect because that water layer covers it up a lot too. So it's not like anyone's looking directly at your picture. And I love using the Copic markers because they don't show any kind of, uh, any brush strokes really. You don't have to worry about any of the colors bleeding over each other. And that's what's great about using that Memento ink is it doesn't bleed. the color. 
color because the other one's teal. I'm going to do purple on this one. Because it's a mermaid. They can be any color we want it to be, right? All right. And then the last thing we just need is some water. Just going right out to that edge of the circle, the outline. My daughter is currently at the shore with her Nana, so this will be a nice surprise when she comes back. Just to give her a cute I missed her card. So you could say she's off playing mermaid right now. Um, and I want to add a little more darker blue to that just to get it some dimension. All right, you get the gist of it. Okay, so there is my mermaid all colored. She's going to line up with that. And you can make a shaker card out of this. Now, see, I think I need a little more water down here. Um, just by adding some acetate and some sequins if you wanted to do a shaker card. I just thought the water was a neat effect. I haven't done one of these cards in a while, so I thought, well, let me make a video on it. All right, there we go. Okay, so now here comes the fun part, to make the, the jelly bag. So this is just a little bag. Um, you can get it in the craft store in the jewelry section because this is what people use to store their beads in. And it is three by, um, three by four and a half, basically. Um, and it has a Ziploc top here. This is not a card I would recommend mailing. Definitely not. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn over our ship part or the wooden part. And there's two ways you can do this. So for this one, what I did was I used some Purell hand sanitizer. And I put a little bit of primary elements in there. And if you guys have like um, color bursts, those, the powdered pigments, um, I just wanted to have a little bluish tint because this is clear hand sanitizer. So I put a little bit of the primary element in there and mixed it up and it turned, turned the bag a little bluish, but you have like color bursts and stuff like that. The other option you can do is here is from the travel section of your, you know, local target or drugstore, the little, um, two ounces of, this is dial antibacterial body wash. And this already has the blue tint to it. And it smells really nice. So I'm just going to squirt the rest of this in here. If I can get it all to come out. And you guys probably have some of this somewhere in the bathroom from going on vacation and you didn't use it all up. You know, whatever you have. Hand sanitizer. Um... Leftover shampoo, travel shampoo, leftover travel body wash. I would not use water because it's too thin of a consistency. You don't want it to seep through and leak. Um, so that's why I use this, either the shampoo or the Purell. All right. So then all we're going to do is try to get as much of the air as we can out because you don't want too many air bubbles in here. So we're just going to kind of press the air out and then close it off. Okay, so there is our little jelly baggie. We Oh, you could put glitter in there too if you wanted to. Now, all we're going to do is adhere that down. So, I have some extreme adhesive here. Put that all around just like making a shaker card. 
and then we're going to put the baggie down. Now what I like to do just for a little extra piece of protection is take some clear scotch tape and scotch tape this open end down. Okay. And now what you're going to do is just build up your, um, your layers. So I have some 3M tape here, foam tape. And I'm just going to cut that in half. And it doesn't need to be super thick because there's no sequins moving around. You just want it so that the gel doesn't get completely squished and start coming out the sides. A little extra piece here. Now, what I like to do is adhere my little girl to the card back first. Kind of figure out where she's going to go here. It's actually pretty good right there. Okay. And then we're just going to put our top layer down. So the foam adhesive gives it enough dimension that we're not squishing the little baggie, but there's enough leeway there that we can squish around the gel. So there we go, guys. I hope you like my little mermaid cards. If you have any questions, post them below. I appreciate you guys watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and keep on stamping.